in L.A. Confidential, mm-hmm. you know you're playing a um, a big guy, a physically big cop, right? Yeah. Yeah. The largest man in the Los Angeles Police Department. Right. That was in the book. That was in the book. <laughs> I, so, I call the director. I'm going, mate, what have you seen? I'm not a big bloke. Right. So you. So let me get this straight. You rent an apartment yeah. that is too small for you. A ridiculous. 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 So Where, you can like, feel. If, you know, you, you sort of, if you're having a shower, you got one foot in the toilet kind of vibe. And That's you, small. And you put yourself through that. Why? Because you wanted to feel like an oversized guy? Yeah. With a little kitchen, you know, <laughs> one chair. And what happens to you as an actor? All of a sudden you morph into somebody who's kind of physically just uncomfortable because he's too big for the world? Used to, used to being in a room where he's taking up a large part of it. Yeah. And that got you into character? Just a long, tiny little thing. So you know? it's wise to hire Russell Crowe for any role, because look at what you're putting into these things. I mean, you're moving into apartments that it's are too small I, for you. But it's my job. It's <laughs> yeah, what I, I mean, do. My, but that's uh, full I lo- commitment. I love, I love my job, you know. Yeah. But also, right, for a, lo- for a long time, Howard, you're dealing with, can I do this? Can I actually really do it, you know? And it, it's not until, I don't know, man, late in my 40s, you know, where you sort of realize, this is my shit. You can do it. I can do it, you know? But that means you don't change anything. You just, you know, uh, it, but it does mean that, you know, some of the things, the extremes you went to when you were a kid, you don't necessarily have to do anymore because you know it's available to you. Do you hate the first day of shooting when you're not sure if you can pull off I a character? I never sleep the night before. You don't? It's like the first day of school. I never, ever sleep. And now, Still. But now I, I know enough to say to the first day D, <laughs> highly likely when you talk to me on day one, I won't have slept, right? <laughs> so I'll be like a little nervy and stuff like that, but don't worry about it. It doesn't mean anything. No know? matter how many times you've done this, mm. you've stepped onto a movie, a new movie, you still are nervous. It's and important you important to me. Yeah. You know, I have, you know, it's like if I'm doing a show with the band or if I'm doing anything, I have butterflies, I have nerves, I have things that I have to control because it's important to me. Are you a control freak? I always freak? intend to do my very best. Because I was thinking Not about, at all. I read about you when, you, when you got married. You built a chapel, uh-huh. and you built it so that the sun would be shining on your wife's face when you married her. On her dress. Yes. If you're putting that level of care. Care. Good, care. Good word. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty remarkable. But that's not con- trying to control. That's like standing there realizing one day, oh, you know, the sun is there at this time of the afternoon. Right. The window's in the wrong place. That's right. So if we move it <laughs> three feet, if you see, it's like on a set. You know, if the moment's there, you grab it. I call it respecting the gods of film, respecting the gods of comedy. If the opportunity is there, you must take it. 